So the question around, this is kind of a, uh, more around ITAM uh, for you guys, but harder asset management, as we know, lives under IT asset management, um, which is yeah kind of uh, obvious as it's a function within HAM. But there is a load of different options um, that you could have for where harder asset management itself fits within the organization. So we typically see IT asset management as a whole sitting within things like service management, vendor management, finance, office of the CIO, uh, and sometimes even in procurement. Uh, I know that there's a lot of discussions at the moment about whether it should sit with you guys uh, in the office of the CIO uh, within service management, because there's a lot of, uh, not a lot, but there's some ITAM references within ITIL and service management. So yeah, there's no, it's a really flaky answer, but there's no, right or wrong answer as to where ITAM should sit within the organization. It's on a case by case basis. The thing that I would say is that as long as you have the management support, you know, as long as whichever area you end up having ITAM sit in, the most important thing is that you have the backing and the support of the senior director, the vice president, the president, the C-level, whatever it may be, of that area. That is really critical to being able to implement the IT asset management and harder asset management changes that you want to make. Having that senior management voice that gives you that freedom to go out and make the changes that you want to implement, that you want to improve upon things because ITAM and HAM, it may be a bit of a culture change for some of your users out there. There's no getting away from that bit. I think you've experienced some of that already with software asset management, but there are a lot of cultural changes that need to be managed and that will need senior management support when users or stakeholders or department heads, you know, start to question or, you know, I've never done it this way before. Why have I got to do this now? Or I always used to get a MacBook Pro uh, brand new one. Why are my team now getting secondhand ones or, or pre-loved, uh, as we like to say? You know, there's going to be some difficult questions that come up when you're implementing harder asset management in particular, because it's a physical thing that you can see. It's a physical thing that people use every day. So if they're used to getting a brand new device every time, for example, but now you're starting to reuse equipment, there's going to be questions. If you start to, you know, define your harder asset management scope and start saying, oh, no, we're not managing that one. There might be some questions. Start defining your hardware convention and it's not what people are used to, but it's right for your budget. It still works fine. Maybe it doesn't look as good. It's not as lightweight or streamlined. You know, whatever that that physical asset may be, you know, you, you can have questions. You can have people escalate things. They used to have in the, the newest, the latest, the greatest. You're looking to optimize, uh, make sure that you fit within your budget constraints. So yeah, you need that senior management support to kind of bang that drum, to support you in the de decisions that you're making when it comes to implementing the ITAM processes, the hardware convention, the HAM processes, the races, the work instructions, etc. You're going to work with key stakeholders to build those anyway, but there's always going to be someone that's not happy with the changes that you're looking to make. Uh, this also relates to some of the controls. Uh, maybe you're going to be doing some monthly reporting, some dashboards, etc looking at inactivity of hardware, uh, looking at the hardware refresh cycle. Again, having that senior management support that if you're not getting the traction you need when presenting those reports to your stakeholders for them to do actions, having that senior management support will be a massive help. So really, it, it doesn't, there's no right answer as to where ITAM, HAM should sit within an organization. As long as you've got that senior management support, that is worth its weight in gold. So even if you identify that maybe it shouldn't fit in this part of the organization, but you've got really good senior management support, fantastic. I personally wouldn't see any need to change it because that senior management support can help drive you to get all of the stuff that you need to do anyway. And ITAM, you know, everyone's a customer of ITAM. Uh, you know, you can work with the other stakeholders anyway. But if it, if it's not working, there's no harm in moving it. If you put it in service management, for example, you're not getting that senior management support, but you know you'd get it from the office of the CIO, move it, you know. Uh, you know, it's just shift it over, shift it to the side so that it can work within a different team that may have more accessibility to key stakeholders that will have that senior manager who's you know, really interested in it, really supports what you're trying to do. 
Uh, yeah, so ITAM doesn't have to just constantly sit in one place because one person has said so. If you're not getting the traction you need or the support you need, you know, I fully support pitching that you move it to a different team. And I've seen this happen so many times and it always works out for the better. If you're not happy in the team that you're in, you're not getting the support, you know, go to uh, a confidant, if you like, within your organization. Say, look, ITAM's not really working here. We're not getting the support that we need. Can you help? Uh, have that open dialogue, have that conversation, identify a better team for you with a senior manager who will support you and get ITAM moved over. But yeah, in, in summary, I'm rambling a bit there, but in summary, to be honest, there's no right answer as long as you've got that senior management support. That's the most important thing for wherever ITAM and HAM lives within your organization.